This is Lettucey. I'm Suzanne Ridgeway, and welcome back to my channel. We are at BJ's, and we're doing a grocery haul today. But first, smash on that subscribe button, tap on that bell, give this video a big thumbs up. This is a multiple store haul. Going into Walmart's for the first part of our grocery haul, we have to go upstairs. A couple of us need new sneakers. We're gonna take a look at shoes and then pick up our grocery items. They're still working here. Look at the wall. I don't even know if the elevators are open or escalators, so we'll have to go around to the other side because we have to go upstairs. Looks like the escalators are down. They're blocked off. So we're gonna get on the elevator to go up. Definitely working on the escalators. They have it all blocked off. I wonder when they're going to be back in the running. And this is the largest Walmart in the U.S., Albany, New York. Getting the coffee creamer for $3.82 by Coffee Mate. I'm checking out these no boundaries for $14.97. See if they have a six and a half. They do way in the back. I want to see if I can try them on. I want a nice white chunky sneakers for walking. Getting a bakery fresh sliced bread for a dollar ten a loaf. A beef kielbasa for three dollars and ninety eight cents. A bag of hamburger buns from Great Value ninety three cents each. Red hot chips two dollars and sixty eight cents a bag. Blade Air Freshener Apple Cinnamon, still 97 cents, cheaper than the Dollar Tree. Going into BJ's for the second part of the grocery haul. Getting a case of the 100% juice for $12.49 for my kids' lunch bags. A case of the Nest Quick for $9.89 for my kids' lunch bags. Checking out the whole chickens for our dinner tonight, which is on our menu. We like to get the Purdue's here at BJ's that are bigger and you get more for your money. We're grabbing this one for $6.78. Grabbing a big bag of the Baby Bell cheese for $9.99 and we have a coupon for it. Grabbing a case of the Danibles for $10.99. Grabbing a pick and pack $7.98 for two bags of chips and they're bigger than the family size. Grabbing a big bag of the unsalted peanuts for my Blue Jay at $5.99 each. Grabbing a case of the Pop Tarts for my kids at $9.69. It is a tri pack. The beautiful twirlers. The pinwheels are gorgeous. I brought the tulips back. There's one left already. And they have Easter eggs and garden steaks. Not much new over here. Their big flip flop selection. Cheaper than Walmart's. I didn't see any dollar flip flops at Walmart's this year. Nothing new in gardening. I'm gonna go over to groceries and see what's available. They have their floral fully stocked with some really nice vases at the bottom. Nice ivy. Got the chocolate chip back. I have some of the rainbow chips, and I'm gonna use these up before I get any more cookies. And they got some hot dogs back, as well as turkey franks. And they have some deli style lunch meats. Looking to see if they have the bacon in, and I just see the sausages. Bacon sold out. I'm going to grab another bag of these french fries because you get a whole pound. And they have the steak cut as well as the crinkle cut. And they're really good. We're having a couple of packages of the ground beef. Looks like they have the veggie burgers too here. Maybe we should try one of these for a video. selection of Propel water. Nice size bottles for $1.25. Electrolytes. Zero sugar. Grabbing a couple of cans of the Goya chickpeas. This is a great buy and a great name brand. Some pickles. I noticed I was out of pickles and I love to keep pickles and pickle juice in my refrigerator for my tuna recipes. I always add pickle juice. Package of the Spanish rice. Happy to see that 
to see the chicken and chili is back. Looking at the vegetables to see if they have mixed. I see carrots, peas, potatoes, beets, and here's mixed. The wraps always feel for freshness, especially at the Dollar Tree. This feels like a really good set. That's even softer. These are really good. Let's see what other breads they have. My husband doesn't care for the English muffins anymore. I don't see any bagels. They have flatbread. I'm going to grab a package of banana nut, maybe, or peanut butter. I'm looking at their baked goods. They have brownies down here, Duncan Hines. Let's get a box of brownies. Here's a great tip in the summertime when you go to the beach or the drive-ins, grab one of these bags for hot and cold for your food. They work really well. Or when you're moving or you're going somewhere on vacation, I always have two of them in my car. Fresh has some new clip lock. I love these containers. They're great for decanting. Grabbing a bottle of Salon Selectives Conditioner. So much cheaper than the supermarket and Walmart. Check out Dollar Tree. They have a lot of name brands. Full selection of suntan lotion. They have 30 block and they have a 50 block. Check out Dollar Tree. On the left, we got the Nesquik and the Danibles at BJ's. It's Capri juices. The water we picked up at Aldi as well as the onions here. Coffee Mate was at Walmart as well as the kielbasa, the hamburger buns, and some of the French sliced bread. Got a pair of sneakers for my kid. There was only one size, we're both the same size, so I'll just get mine another time. Pringles at Walmart, as well as the Red Hots. At BJ's, we got the twin pack, pick and pack. You get two bags for a good price. They're bigger than the family size. Then I picked up some stuff at the Dollar Tree. Resins from my husband, some Spanish rice, their wraps, which are really good. Their beef, it is not fake beef. It is not organic beef, but it is beef, and it's not 80% lean, and it's pretty decent. We've got a kielbasa. This is for something special that I'm doing. A couple cans of mixed vegetables. Still a dollar a can, some of the brands. A pound of French fries. That is the steak cut. A brownie. Then I got two of the chickpeas. These are delicious, and I love Goya. And I got a jar of pickle spears. I love to keep pickles in my refrigerator at all times. And then also at BJ's, the Pop-Tarts for my kids' lunch bags and quick breakfasts. Some of the Baby Bell cheese and a whole chicken for tonight, which is on my menu. And I'll show you my menu in a moment. And I got to decan some of these products. I don't leave them in the boxes because there's just no room in the apartment for that. At BJ's, we saved $20.50 and spent $100.81. We do the digital and clipless coupons. We spent $8.75 at Aldi. And we spent $29.13 at Walmart and $16 and change at the Dollar Tree for today's grocery haul. In a moment, I'm going to take you into the kitchen, and I'm going to show you our meal planning board, which is through April 12th. We like to plan two weeks in advance for our meals, and it's nothing that's ever set in stone. We can take things out. We can swap them out. We can skip it and do takeout. It's just plan there as a reference to take out the night before so it's thawed and ready to prep. This is where I keep my incoming receipts. I put them in this envelope here. And it's magnetic in the, in the teacher section at the Dollar Tree. And once a month, we go through them and take out the oldest and discard them. And then I have pockets for other things like directions for qu our quick heat needs and things like that. This is my meal planning board for those of you who are new. I do theme nights. And we're going to do a whole chicken tonight. And then tomorrow, we're going to do a casserole. I have ribs in my freezer. We're going to do crock pot ribs. I would do it just spaghetti sauce on Wednesdays, so we do an Italian night of some kind. We do heat and eats on Thursday. 
we're getting kind of tired of takeout, so I'm going to do takeout, but at home, because there's so many copycat recipes out there that are awesome and easy to do that are only five ingredients. So keep your eyes out for that. We're going to be doing copycat takeout meals instead of buying them. And then we do some kind of beef or something on Saturdays, which was the prime rib that we had yesterday. We're doing two round two meals this week on lunch. And then Monday is round two meal day, which will be the casserole. I'm not sure which kind yet. Probably some kind of chicken and stuffing casserole because I got a ton of stuffing in my cupboard. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed at the local store grocery haul with BJ's, Dollar Tree, and Walmart. Before we go, don't forget about our giveaways. The giveaway information is always listed in my description box down below. We give out two gift cards from the Dollar Tree every 100 subscribers. And we're looking for 16 more subscribers to give out one five items price pack. If you're new, comment and say hi. Anyone who wants to win any of my giveaways has to be a U.S. resident and have to be subscribed. All that will be explained down below. Before we go, don't forget to smash on that subscribe board, tap on that bell, and give this video a big thumbs up.